Okay, hello everyone, and my name is Gary, and today my topic is cooperative hunting behavior, prey selectivity, and prey handling by pack ice killer whales, Orsinus orca, type B, in Antarctic Peninsula waters. Okay, so before we talk about the research, we have to know some basic information about orcas. So you can see this picture. This is an orca, and also called killer whales. And this is an orca and human size comparison chart. And they are about five to eight meters long and weight three to six tons. And what is special about orcas? First, they are fast swimming. They can swim at speed of up to 55 kilometers per hour. And second, they are long lived. And then they are very intelligent but how intelligent they are, I will tell you in this presentation. And then they are social animals, and they are the largest apex predators in the ocean. And you can see this picture. This is a food web, and the orca is on the top of the food web. And the orca also has several types, type A, B, and C, and D. And type B orcas can divide it into B1 and B2. And they have different patterns on their bodies and eat different food. This picture can show you clearly about their patterns. And type A orcas likes to eat a kind of whale called, called Antarctic mink whale. And it looks like this. And type B1 likes to eat seals. And type B2 orcas likes to eat penguins. And type C and D likes to eat fish. And then according, according to the molecular genetics analysis in 2008, different kinds of orca are probably not the same species. And this research will focus on type B orcas. Okay, and this cute animal is called widow cell, and they are very cute. But unfortunately, they are orca's favorite food. Okay, and where is widow cell's home? The pictures show their habitat. They are all distributed around Antarctica. And here is some information about widow cell. They are about 2.5 to 3.5 meters long and weight about 600, uh, 400 to 600 kilograms. And we come back to the orca. Where do they live? In the beginning, I see this picture. I think it's just a normal world map. But when I see the information about the color here, oh, I think, wow, it's too large. And they occupied the entire ocean. So. When you search on Wikipedia, they will tell you the orca is data deficient. So this is our purpose. To date, they, there have been no directed studies on killer whales in Antarctica, feeding habits or prey preference. We wanted to learn as much as possible about killer whale hunting behavior in Antarctica. So where do we find them? Here is Laba Fjord at Antarctica. It's close to the south, southern tip of South America. And it's a beautiful place. And here is the picture about Laba Fjord. And this research will take place here. OK, before we do the research in the beginning, to determine if the hunting whales had preference among the different species of seal that were present on the ice. We identified a random sample of 365 seals. This figure shows that there are almost quadrupedal seals in this area, <coughs> up to 82%. But only 15% of widow seal here, an uh, orangey part, and 3% uh, of leopard seal. 
Okay, and how do we find the orcas? We made observation from 19.5 meters long motor sailing yacht during 13 to 30 January uh, in 2009. And observation were made outside from the top of the uh, warehouse approximately five meters above the sea level. And with two to seven observers on watch at all times using handheld seven times 50 millimeters binoculars. And once we locate a group of whales, we stayed with it until we lost it due to the dense pack ice, bad weather or darkness. <clears throat> and to relocate the orcas and to check their movement, we deployed spot fire location only satellite transmitters onto the three all cars from three different groups. These devices were deployed using crossbow balls here, fired at the dorsal fins of whales, with tags held in place by two uh, 6.5 centimeters barbed titanium darts. Okay, and killer whales often kill and consume their prey underwater. So it can be difficult to determine if a predation even has even occurred. But there are some useful clues. When the prey was not seen again, we assume a kill had taken place only if we detected the fish or fishy odor and oil slick at the surface that results when a marine mammal is dismembered underwater. Okay, and we go to the result part. <clears throat> and when the orca, the orca were hunting, they would do this motion called spy hops. And this picture you can see. Uh, their head would come up of the water in order to find where the seals were. And their bodies would be vertical in the water. When an orca detected a seal on the ice, it began a series of spy hops. 10 times or more from different locations. Okay, and after here, okay. After spy hopping, the old car would disappear for 15 to 30 seconds. We assume that it went down to vocalize to other members of the group because usually in less than one minute, the rest of the group all surfaced next to the floor and began spy hopping around the seal also. After vocalizing to other members, two to seven orcas started wave washing to wash the seal off the ice floor. Yet you can see the picture like this. Here and in the left of the picture is a widow seal and here is a one meter wave generated by six orcar. And in the end, this widow seal was killed by this group of orcars. Okay, if the flow was too large, orcars would generate a smaller non-breaking wave to break the flows. In this picture, it was a 20 meter long flow. In the beginning, the flow was, was just a single sheet of ice. The, the wave they generated as they passed below, passed below the ice and shattered the flow. As you can see in the picture, after reaching the opposite side of the flow, the orcas turned and spy hop to relocate the seal immediately. And we count, uh, after the research, we count the number of the seal orcas encountered on ice. There are 78% of crab beetle seals, and 17% of widow seals, and 5% of leopard seals. And it is almost the same as the random sample we did before the research here. However, the orca don't think so. 
Here is the number of seals washed off the ice by Ocar. And the ratio of widow seals is as high as 78%. Carpenter seals and leopard seals are only 27%. And although there are 27%, the Ocars wouldn't eat them, wouldn't eat uh, carpenter seal and leopard seal after they washing off. So you can say that the type B orca only eats widow seals. So type B orca showed a strong preference for widow seals. So uh, we talk about their prey handling and feed beha feeding behavior on widow seals. And a vocal signal likely brings the part back to part back together to feed. And feeding appears cooperative with all members sharing their prey and no fight observed. And then whales must articulate dismember the carcass, likely focusing on blubber and, sk and skin. And what is blubber? Blubber is the fat tissue on the marine mammals. So the conclusion, all cows are very smart using various technique to hunt prey. And they have a complex social structure and they will hunt together and share their food yeah, to all members. And finally, type B orcas likes to eat widow seals very much. So here is my presentation. Thank you for listening.